Hey guys, Coffee here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make Minecraft or any kind of pixel art textures using AI. It's actually really, really cool. But let's get on with the video. In this video, we're going to be using a couple of tools. Um, we'll be using a model base of Stable Diffusion 1.5 as well as Plixel, a more sophisticated trained AI on Minecraft item textures. And for doing this, we will be using Comfy UI as well as some custom nodes that I have. First, go down in the comments. First, go down in the description. I have a couple of links for you to go to. First will be the Comfy UI, the place where you need to download it, and go to releases down to the right. Click on tags and click on latest. Next, download whatever you need to do, such as um, in, <laughs> any of these. Any of these should actually work, but choose the one with the latest date. I believe these are dates. I don't know. This is the one I downloaded and works perfectly fine, second to last, or fourth to last. When that's downloaded, put it on your desktop. Next, open it up or extract it since it's a 7 zip file. I'll keep that open. Next, you're going to open the Comfy UI screen. Go to Custom Nodes, and in the second link, you're going to download this Custom Nodes folder I have. Open it and drag these three files into here. I already have them, so I don't have to worry about that. But drag these three files into this custom notes folder. Go back, and then go to, where is it? Models, go to models, and then find the folder called Laura's. Open that up, and I already have a couple, because I was testing around. <laughs> but now, go to the third link in the description, and download this Flixel SD 1.5 tensor file. It will be on a website called civit.ai or civitai.com. Drag this into the Lores folder and it's loaded. Now go to the Stable Diffusion website. Scroll down until you see uh, pruned, I think it is. I think it's the pruned. Let me check. Yes, it is the V15 pruned EMA only. You'll only download this file right here. Is that right? Yes, the V15 pruned EMA only. You can do CKPT or safe tensors. I did safe tensors. Do not download the 7 gigabyte one. Only the four, and I'm downloading the seven. Whoops. When you're done with that file, drag it onto your Comfy UI Models Checkpoints folder. Drop them in here, and you're good to go. Next, go back to your models and go back to Comfy UI and go back to the file that you have it all in. Next, if you have a AMD GPU, I'm not sure this will work so run CPU, but if you have a NVIDIA GPU, like an RTX or a GTX, or even a GT, then you will run this bat file. It will open a server, or a website. As you can see, I am using a 3070. And there we go. I will fix that. There we go. Now I am done. As you can see, you will go down to your Laura name, go to Plixel SD, but should already be lo uh, loaded. And then this should already be loaded as well. 1.5 pruned EMA only. You should have nothing in your negative or positive prompts. Unless you do, then just get rid of it. Now, all you have to do is look at this sidebar. It says Q prompt. You don't really have to worry about all this. But next you'll make a prompt. 
Now let's try doing an amethyst ingot. Let's see what that would look like, right? So let's go to Q. Is that working? Yes, it is working. So let's go to Q, and you can see that's making the images here. And here we are. This is an amethyst ingot in four varieties. You want to stick your width and height to 256 to make sure it's at 256 or by 16 by 16 textures. If you were to open this in an image program, let me change this up. Like, let's say we open this image, copy, let's go to paint on that, right? You will see that it's 256 by 256, right? And there's imperfect lines. What you can do is image, resize, 16 by 16 and it will stay the exact same or as close as possible if you choose nearest neighbor in your resampling now we have an actual item texture we can use called amethyst ingot you can change it however you want to or keep it it doesn't matter but you can automatically do this through Comfy UI, but I'm going to be honest with you, I do not know how to do that. So this is the only way I know how. But let's go right through this again really quickly. You will want to download Comfy UI, Stable Diffusion 1.5 EMA only, the 4 gigabyte one. You'll want to download the Plixels 1.5 and you'll want to download the node, wherever, uh, the nodes folder I have, and specifically put it in every folder that I said. If I went too fast, you can pause the video and find where you need to be. Otherwise, there you go. You have now created an AI generator that can make pixel art in Minecraft fashion. But let me show you what else you can do. If you were to download other tensor files, this one's my favorite, 1.19, where is it? I think it's item, right? This should be for Minecraft textures. What's funny is let's say I have an English house, right? Whoops, oh, move. <laughs> Dude, okay, let's cue the, cue the prompt, excuse me. And here we go. For some reason it makes custom like houses it's really cool I don't know how it does that but if you're an 8-bit game developer then you can just do this if you need inspiration but let's change it to double the size let's cue the prompt it's going to take a bit longer but since I have an RTX 3070 it's not going to take as long it only took what six seconds look at that <laughs> it made an English house with even more detail double the detail I wonder what 1024 would look like. Let's cue this. And this, if you're a game developer and you like making 8 bit stuff, please go ahead, do this. The website to download different models is civetai.com. It's really cool. You can find a bunch of stuff here. Here we go. Here are the images generating. You can do it. Come on. There we go. And it really messed up. Oof. That. Yeah, no, I wouldn't go any higher than 512 or 256. But if you like Minecraft textures, stay at 256. Let me show you something cool. If you're using item all, let's say we want amethyst pickaxe, right? Let's cue the prompt. This is for 256. And here we go, an amethyst pickaxe. This one's a little clipped off, but this one looks pretty nice. Let's open the image, copy. Let's go to paint.net again. Let's make this. And I think we should resize to 16 by 16. Okay. And there we go, we have our texture. An amethyst pickaxe. And if you ever wanted to make mods or resource packs, you could easily do it with this AI stuff. It's actually really, really cool. Now, use it as you want. Please don't go out of your way to make harmful things. 
After all, it is AI, and it most likely will do what it tells you to. But yeah, thank you for watching the video, and have a great day.